you got your perfect lowrider. You got the awesome airbags installed, but it just doesn't sound quite right. Today, we'll show you how to install a sick exhaust on your lowrider. <coughs> Welcome to Iron Horse Garage. So, we're cutting out the old exhaust. Uh, we're cutting out the glass packs. There's about two foot glass packs under this bad boy. We're going to cut them off and put a uh, MagnaFlow style uh, short compact muffler in there. And we're going to run the exhaust out the sides in front of the rear tires um, and try to keep it tucked up to the uh, frame close so this baby rides on the ground. Gonna have to be fing striking out. Is it easier to come this way or that way? I need to cut this exhaust right at the top of the loop, man. Unless she wants to keep this bend to go over the rear end. I'm going to save this bend right here in case we decide to go over the rear end if it doesn't work going out the side. So I'm just going to cut the glass back off. Are you still alive? Mm-hmm. It did not look like it felt good. So, what we are doing is removing all unnecessary bracketry for the old exhaust because I don't like leaving stuff hanging on the frame and stuff like that if it is not serving a purpose so we uh, we're taking all that off we'll see what we're gonna use for bracketry as we go along and I think I'm gonna go get me a cold pop so these are our uh, semi low profile mufflers um, so what we're going to do is where the body kind of comes up and has this raised spot. We're going to try to tuck these babies in here and uh, keep them nice and tight so that we can uh, drag the ground with this baby and not the exhaust. And then we'll run these out in front of the tire somewhere. So we uh, need to get some different exhaust fittings and things like that. Get these babies uh, installed. So before we uh, finish running our exhaust, we need to tuck this airline up around the uh, bend of the frame so we can keep that away from our exhaust, um, and then we'll finish running that. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna go ahead and stretch the airline down through the frame. So what we've done is we've ran our uh, we've ran some wire through the frame wet rails and taped it to our uh, air hose and now we're going to fish it on back here <laughs> mm. 
Bingo. Now got the airlines through the frame, coming up through the trunk there, and out here. And we drilled a hole in the body plug down there, so we did not uh, damage the body or alter the body of the car. So uh, we just got them going through a rubber grommet in the body plug. I had to get the pipe stretcher out since they don't make the part I want. So we're going to expand this part to build a part that I need here to get this done. making some minor adjustments here. A perfect fit, as always. Here we have the initial mock-up. Jason will demonstrate. It's gonna go something like that. Uh, we got these cool uh, angled exhaust tips come out in front of the rear tires. We'll see how it all uh, fits together under there. Hey, why don't you just use like a power tool or a grinder on that? Only weenies use power tools. <laughs> Hacksawing is a lost art. Smooth as a lady's bottom. I once used a hacksaw to cut a 79 Ford F-150 in half. No joke? No joke. Here's another tip. Nice. One hacksaw tip that some people may not be aware of is you don't just slap the blade on this baby. You want your teeth facing towards you so that when you slide your hacksaw in, it glides on your steel. But when you pull back, that's where your cut is. So make sure your teeth and your blade is placed properly on your hacksaw. Like you want it to come out from under the car a little bit. And I think that comes out enough. Aaron, what do you think? Are you there? I think that's a sufficient amount of space for the exhaust. It doesn't come out from under the body at all. You don't want it sticking out. And by the time you do this, it's going to be visually pleasing right there. I think it's good right there. That's what I wanted right there. I don't want it sticking way out of the body. I want it just to be basically tucked under the body like that. I think is good. I mean, I'll have my exhaust basically going up into the body. What do you mean? It's going to be touching the frame right here. I see what you're saying. But I mean, man, it's just like it doesn't come out of the body at all. That's fine. Like half your exhaust is going to go up into the wheel well. Which I guess is fine. I guess. No, I don't think it is. So let's do that. Heading to the bench to do some welding. When we tuck these up under there, we're going to make sure that the seam is facing up to the body of the car because it'd be more visually pleasing to look at the smooth side of this muffler than it would be to look at that side. What about right or No. Well, which way do I need to go? Maybe I'll put on the table and your hands from here to the table and from here to the table because you know that's straight. Oh, that's a pretty sick exhaust.
Well, the passenger side done, so uh, now let's do the other side. Well, we got our uh, driver's side all put in place and welded. Now we're going to install the passenger side in the same fashion. This needs to come in from the edge. It needs to be from this wheel well, it needs to be in just a little bit. Well, I'm down here laying on my back. I was thinking about our partners. NZ Mopar, Outlaw Customs, and Outlaw Edge on YouTube. Check those guys out. They're going to be coming over here to uh, help us build some awesome stuff. It's fitting better, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Way well, better. Well, that's what it was. Is there was a bird on the end of this. Yeah, it's, it's perfect, down there. Don't say the F word. Perfect. That's the P word. Did I say the F word? Bring it down a little bit. Hold it. Push it down some more. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. You're going to have to come push this side down. I'm going to use my uh, flat shield in tight spots here. What do you want me to do? Push it down. Hold it. I got to do something over here. I can't see nothing. <laughs> this is not going to work with this. So, that's it for the exhaust. You just need to weld a couple of exhaust hangers on there. She's going to sound bad to the bone. We got our uh, exhaust hangers on. These are a uh, newer style hanger with the uh, little rubber donut deals here. Uh, welded those right onto the muffler and bolted these to the uh, cross member here in the body. And we have a more modern exhaust hanger bracket. So that about uh, sums it up. All right, Jason, fire her up. Now that we're all exhausted, join us next time where we set this baby on the ground and take a cruise.